welcome back to um, Foods Around the World channel. Um, this is episode one of... It's like episode two, because we already announced yeah. the stuff from Greece. Now we're going to try three of the items. And so which tomorrow one? we're going to be doing another three items. Which, and which, three, are, which three are we going to try tonight? Today we're going to try Tzurkaki. With cocoa cream. It's pretty much bread with... Let me tell you. Let me read the book. <laughs> with cream. Let me read the book. Okay, wait. I'm trying to find it. Go ahead. You can start opening it and I'll read and to then, you what it is. Is it possible that it's not in the book? Oh, here it is. You ready? So this is the best part of the holidays. The sweets, of course, that couldn't be truer in Greece, where the delectable sweet bread is served on virtually every holiday. During oh, Easter, Greek families make the dough from flour, sugar, butter, and milk, then carefully braid it, and right before baking it, decorate it with real colorful Easter eggs. We've all had Easter bread. That's awesome bread. Oh, so this is going to be like Easter bread. You ready? Mm -hmm. Don't eat it yet. I'm not. I'm just bringing it out. For Christmas, food. the same dough is artfully crafted with the shape of a cross on top, and for New Year's, locally known as St. Basil's Day, right Torseki is prepared as a celebratory cake called Vasalopida, traditionally baked with a coin inside. Whoever finds the coin when the cake is served is bound for a year of good luck. I wonder if there's a coin in there. Don't go looking for money in this particular sweetbread, though. Instead, you'll find unbelievably rich chocolate cream. Looks like, or should we say tastes like, the holidays came early this year. And look, it's like braided. We're not going to eat all this. We're just going to try yeah. a little bite of it. Um, I'm just getting a plate and a knife so we can cut it. So while Olivia is cutting a piece it's off, really good. we're just going to mention the fact that, again, this is from Universal Yums, and every month you get a different... You can get a smaller package or a bigger package, and each month you get different treats Dang, from different like, countries. This needs like a Here. Knife. And um, just so you know, <laughs> this month was Greece, and we talked to a friend of ours Hi. Um, Hi. from Australia who's, liter who's actually from Greece, and she said that these are legit treats from Greece. Okay, that let's cut this in half. Awesome. Okay, you ready? Honestly, it looks really good. Are we going to try it at the same time? <gasps> oh, oh, I'm going to try the cream first. Okay, ready? Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. That is good. I'm just going to take a little bite. Cheers. Oh. It tastes like sweet bread from Easter. I feel like there's like a hint of orange inside. Yeah. Mmm. Very good. Like okay. that orange zest. So for the day so far, this is number one. Of course, we've only tried one thing. And if we ate the whole thing, there'd be 303 calories. But we're not. Fortunately, we only ate like you know maybe 20. I'm gonna dream. Okay. What's next? Lots of carbs in that one. The next item is Sorrenta. And it looks like a chocolate wafer. Obsessed with wafers? We sure are. We try them practically everywhere we go. But this month, we're even more excited than usual because Greece is where wafers were invented. Oh, my gosh. Really? Who knew that? Ancient Greeks first started cooking up the treats called obilos in 146 B.C. What does B.C. stand for? Before... Before. Christ. Christ. They would pour batter between two hot plates attached to wooden sticks. Think of them as ancient waffle irons. Cook the waffles to perfection and then top them with herbs and cheese. Fast forward 2,000 years to 1970 when Greek companies, Totus Bingo, created their flagship product, the Sorrenta, Serenata wafer. Serenata. This rich chocolatey, oh, more chocolate. Rich chocolatey taste on the millennia-old tradition quickly became a household name across modern Greece, with four crispy wafers slathered in cocoa cream. Oh, that's... Coated in rich chocolate and dazzled with even more chocolate. It's hard to imagine Greece ever improving this recipe, but with the country's history of innovation, it's bound to happen. We'll guess you'll have to come back and see. 
Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, oh you're making chocolate. a mess. Chocolate. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Don't let the dog get it. Okay, here, put it over here. Yeah. That's pretty small. I think we can eat yeah. that. Let me cut it in half. <laughs> <laughs> With our knife, we've used on bread. It's okay, it's just chocolate. Okay, ready? Ooh, it looks Let's... like this. Looks like, it looks like, and smells better than a Kit Kat. Oh, yeah. It's ready? probably like a Kit Kat. We have to do Opa. You know what Opa means? Like, cheers. Okay. Opa! Opa! Mm. Chocolate layer on the floor, I think. We'll clean it up. Wow. Mm. Okay, of the bread and that, which one's your favorite? Don't eat mine. Yeah. This? Mm -hmm. This? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna have to agree, although it kind of tastes like a Kit Kat. The bread, the chocolate keeps falling out. Here, have some of that. Mmm. <laughs> Totus, you know what you're doing. There you yeah. go. Okay, we got one more. What are we doing now? <gasps> I know what that is. Oh, I know what this is, too. This is baklava. We all know what baklava is. Yeah. And the Greeks, hello. Okay. And we're Greek, so <laughs> we're when, like, yay, this is our mom. Can you please help me open this? When exploring Greece, there are a few things you have to do. Here, you read. See the Parthenon. So See a few things to do. See the Parthenon. Soak up the sun on a white sand beach and try baklava. We're not kidding. Baklava is nothing short of tradition treasure. You'd be hard pressed to find a single Greek celebration being be in a, in a wedding, holiday, dinner, or birthday party without a platter of the syrup nut filled sweet front and center, but Rest assured, Greek baklava never gets boring, mm. as there are tons of different varieties to choose from. There is, okay, I can't read that. Why? <laughs> I have no idea what that says. Well, tell me. Katefi, the kind with stringy shredded no, phyllo dough. Ka oh, corkavinia, the itty bitty bite sized variety. The kind with stringy sh shredded phyllo dough, and our personal favorite, seragli. This version takes all the elements of original baklava, flaky dough, buttery syrup, almonds, and walnuts, and puts them in an oh so cute roll, creating the perfect party treat. Talk about letting the good times roll. Something tells us you won't have any problem checking. Try baklava off your grease to do list. No, come on, we're gonna try our baklava. You ready? And that's all we're doing tonight, too much sugar. I have a feeling this is gonna be our favorite because they're known for their baklava. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. However, I have to tell you that in, in Lebanon, which is what I'm from, where I'm from, we say but lay away. But lay away. But ultimately it's the same thing. Here you but go. Lay away. Now wait, we have to do opa. Don't okay. go anywhere. Oh, it looks like you're sat like the Oh, I smell cinnamon. What do you smell? Cinnamon. <laughs> Ready? Cheers. Oh, opa. 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 Mm -hmm. Really good. You like it? You're not a baklava fan? I think it's delicious. I don't know if I like it or not. Mm. But the good news is, you don't have to eat anymore. Okay, ready? So just to mention that I was in, I was in Greece in 2006. Um, I went and saw the Parthenon and made some really great friends. And this was wonderful. Really, really a wonderful experience. And um, now tomorrow night, we'll do another um, thing. Where we'll do three more of them because we have plenty more to try. My The one I'm really looking forward to is this candy made of ouzo. Hello. Ouzo. I'm really excited. Love ouzo. Red one. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.